Well, personal grooming has turned out to be a really hot space and as we all know, D2C is such a buzzword these days, isn't it? Our next guest is uh, the co-founder of Bombay Shaving Company. They've done it again, raised more funds and want to raise even more funds. Uh, Shantanu, welcome to ET Now. You have such an impressive cap table, you know, from a Sixth Sense to a Colgate Palmolive to a Record Bank Kaiser. And now you're going to have more investors. Yeah, thank you so much, Nandara. <clears throat> Happy New Year to you. And uh, we are very privileged to have very good um, uh, investors who <clears throat> kind of have different um, uh, value adds that they give us. Right? Colgate and Reckitt help us with offline and how to build large FMCG companies. Uh, while Sixth Sense helps us in understanding early stage marketing. While now we've gotten a whole host of investors who are very good at public markets because IPO is, is our 12th quarter goal. So I think we've gotten investors who help us uh, basis the stage of the company. So very happy about that. What are you going to do with all of this money? And I believe you want to raise another 300 crore rupees. Yeah, so we went into the market, Nance, that are looking to raise 100 crores, which was more than all our five previous financing, financing combined. Um, we are a business that operates at 60% gross margin, so we don't really, we have, we, I mean, we have no business raising money a lot. But I think the market is good and, um, you know, um, uh, there is a lot of uh, positivity about the business over the last two years, given our growth. Uh, so we thought it's a good time to raise um, and, and, and really invest in, in, in offline distribution, in brand building. Uh, in in organic acquisitions uh, to really make us because we have one of the best offline sales team for young companies in India. So I think that's that's the idea to kind of really scale it up over the next three years. Acquisitions, you know, we've been hearing about a lot of consolidation as well. You know, and and it's a trend that you see in the new economy as well as the old economy, right? Uh, the bigger ones are only increasing their market share more with the backing of Colgate, Record Bit Kaiser, all of that. Uh, I'm sure a lot of brands must be on your radar. Yeah, I mean, the good part is this is going to be a decade of entrepreneurs, right, in India. And I think um, a lot of capital is coming into India. Uh, we have also, we, have, we, are, we are seeing a lot of that capital result in consumption, right? So the moment the consumption econo economy goes up, uh, entrepreneurs are going up, uh, there are always opportunities for, 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 for companies like us that build out capabilities to, to really bring on more companies into the fold. So uh, we will look at adjacencies, whether it's content or whether it's shelf adjacencies in a store, uh, and look for good entrepreneurs who, are, uh, who, are, who, who can add, you know, add value to us as well. So will you stay in the categories that you're in? Are you also fortifying yourself, raising funds when you don't need to, uh, to add new categories, enter new geographies? Uh, no, I mean, uh, look, uh, there are two schools of thought, right? One school of thought is um, that, you know, you conservatively raise so your exit loads are lower. That's a more conservative point of view. Um, and when a more ag ambitious, aggressive point of view is <laughs> raise as much as you can and then deploy it with a very clear return to shareholder uh, filter, right? Which is if you deploy, for every rupee you deploy, you need to have a clear line of sight for 10 rupees in terms of value creation. So if you have that... Uh, visibility, which is uh, which is um, um, uh, accurate and predictable enough, then you can go for for path two. So we are uh, we are looking at uh, we are looking at that as, as as the way to go. Okay, I also you know we've seen a recent trend also where um, it seems to be this content to commerce which is playing off, right? Um, is that something that you're looking at at all? I mean, it is, it is, not, it is not a singular strategy. Uh, I understand how companies might believe that it might build, it, it might be a silver bullet in terms of creating uh, revenues, where you create a top of the funnel with your content platforms and then guide people from those content platforms towards transaction pages, so it might work. For us, I think we believe fundamentally that uh, consumers can be cultivated online uh, but will transact in a retail environment of their choice. Uh, India is still a 96% offline heavy heavy retail environment, right? And even if we are the most optimistic about e-commerce, China today is at 15 to 18%. So even if we are able to beat China, 80% of India will still buy in stores. So if you are able to build a pipe to stores uh, and have access to the shelf uh, uh, where, where your brands are bought and you can own the shelf through outstanding merchandising, 
and and commercial astuteness of a very passionate team uh, then you can actually build it out so for us it's not about content to commerce i think it is content is one of many pillars but uh, the offline pipe to the store is is, is equally important as well so um, for us it's more 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 playing in the more brick and mortar retail environment or omni channel retail environment as well Now, the beauty and uh, personal care segment has certainly been picking up, right? And I think all the numbers speak for themselves. Uh, look no further than Nike and what an IPO it had. Uh, there's so much that's being said about other brands as well. We've seen unicorns also being minted. You tell us, what kind of traction have you seen on ground? Uh, very good. I think the COVID, while it was very difficult for the country, um, socially and medically, I think a lot of us went through tragedy as well, personally, a couple people in our company as well. But I think at the business level, we had serious tailwind. Uh, we were able to launch our women's business, which is now almost 25% of our total business in one year. We have set up a completely new subsidiary with a, with a, with a, with its own founder and so on. Um, we invested in relationships with offline retail. Uh, we, um, you know, we, when most companies were taking products off, uh we invested in long term contracts around merchandising ad ad spaces and so on um so i think we are we are in a very good space we have grown almost 4x in the last 12 months we are now clocking 150 crores in net almost 250 crores in gross revenues a year and are looking to scale this to 500 crores in the next eight quarters um, line of sight is fairly clear uh we will expand offline uh, and and build out a great product to do the same also invest in brand uh, we have a production studio of our own We have brand ambassadors like R Ashwin, Alaya, F, and we will kind of uh, get in more bad brand ambassadors this year, uh, and hopefully uh, all of that put together will make Bombay Shaving Company a, a a salient brand in the household. Our vision is two five ten. We want to get into two crore bathrooms, have five products per bathroom, and give ten minutes of happiness to the consumer. So. Uh, very simple, and uh, just, <laughs> just we want to be singular, singularly focused on that. <laughs> So, out of the two crore uh, bathrooms that you want to be in, uh, you know, have you faced this because just because of the name, the name, and I know we've discussed this in the past, uh, how you make the brand seem more inclusive for women? Yeah. So, if you check out, uh, you are right. So, good part is, unlike most male brands, we are not a black and brown macho, beer pio, ladki patao kind of brand at all, right? We are a very soft personal. We are our fonts are are softer. We are a blue and white. and colorful brand uh, almost 25% of our buyers are women who buy the product as a gift for their husbands or boyfriends or fathers or sons or brothers right um so that way our brand already had equity amongst women as a caring uh, conscious brand uh it was not very difficult to create an offshoot uh, and we we are known for well designed high quality products and women are very smart consumers right they don't really care if a brand is made for men or women if the brand is good the product is good and it it, it speaks to them in their language uh, they will give it a try after that if the product is good they'll continue to buy so if you check out bscwomen.com you will see that the colors are more feminine uh, the language is you know bsc women is for bold badass women uh, and if you see the website or the instagram handle it it's a lot more you know lot more spunky uh, and and cool compared to bombay shaving company which is a lot more old school and and, and kind of formal uh, so i think different brand languages work for for men and women and as long as the fundamental intrinsics of the company remain the same so i think we have managed to keep that balance very very well and we'll continue to do so in the future as well Okay, with that, uh, Shantanu, uh, I'll let you go. I just had one cheeky question to ask you. How have you managed to handle all of these uh, investors on your cap table? And if I can be really cheeky, have uh, Reckitt and Colgate ever had a disagreement? And then how did you guys figure out an agreement? Yeah, I think the good part is we get investors who align on the vision. Number one, uh, number so whether it's my angel round, which are like thirty-five people. or a vc fund or you know two strategics and now like all these public market guys um malaba is a hedge fund right so very unique pe- people to have on the cap table and we are colgate and reckitt both of their first and only investment in india so i think number one is alignment of vision number two is the people who represent these investors have to be uh, people who you get along with at a personal level right they have to be good friends they have to be uh, people you can have a beer with uh, and and share things outside the company um we do a lot of thing on the side bombay shaving company is one of many things that we do together right we we help other founders we uh, i help them on their businesses they help me on mine so 
Bombay Shaving Company is one of many things that we do together. So if you are able to, I think the relationship has to be above the transaction. If the relationship is above the transaction, then 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 things fall into place for you. Okay, Shanti, he is wishing you and the entire team all the best and a happy new year. Thank you so much, Nandita. Thank you.